New tonight, a months long investigation into bullying at the Cumberland Valley School District. The cheerleading team is now over. Investigators say they didn't find anything worth pursuing, but not everyone is ready to move on yet. CBS 21's TJ Anthony joins us now. So TJ, you spoke to people involved in this investigation. What are they saying? Yeah, Joe D, if you remember, this investigation started about four months ago. So I spoke with one parent whose child was a part of that cheerleading program. They believe this investigation was handled properly. However, a former school board president is saying the exact opposite. I believe there's definitely discrimination going on, definitely bullying. The investigation into bullying allegations within the Cumberland Valley School District's varsity cheerleading program has now finished. Investigators have been looking into this since June and say they didn't find any evidence of bullying or violations of anti-discrimination laws. Brian Drapp, former CV school board seat holder, questions the legitimacy of the investigation. And they didn't speak to the person who initiated this. The investigator did provide recommendations about the coaching practices and administrative oversight of all athletic programs. The district said they will implement enhanced measures not specifically telling us what was recommended or what the enhanced measures are. I could not be more proud of the Cumberland Valley School District in how they handled this situation. Marty Carrera says he was questioned as part of the investigation. I can't talk too much about obviously the conversation that I had. I was asked not to discuss that. His daughter was on the varsity cheer team throughout high school at Cumberland Valley. He's also part of the cheer team's booster program. And the allegations were that the coaches were bullying these students uh, and bullying these athletes and fostering a culture of bullying, which couldn't have been further from the truth of her experiences. There's no oversight of this accountability. And some of the cheerleaders that had concerns about the program, they have now actually lawyered up. Coming up next at six, I want to tell you what the lawyer representing the cheerleaders want to see now that this investigation is over. For now, live in Cumberland County, TJ Anthony, CBS 21 News. Back to you.